Travis and I found the monster pick. These are things as toy collectors and as toy flippers to finance our collectors, our, our own hobby that we dream about, that we fantasize about. Hostage. This is Justice Curry. I need your help. There's a phone number in the description. Call that number. Contact Detective Ellison. She'll know what to do. And I'll edit this part out later because it's ridiculous. I thought it would be a lot funnier, but now saying it out loud, I realize this was a horrible idea. But I'm in a car with my best friend for life, Travis Bowles. How you doing, Travis? Doing good. Awesome. Travis and I are headed to Canada. Yes, to the Canadian people. Travis and I found the monster pick. These are things as toy collectors and as toy flippers to finance our collectors, our, our own hobby that we dream about, that we fantasize about. It is, how many, how long away, how far away is this? Uh, 12 hours. 12 hours, we are driving 12 hours. It's craziness. And, and Travis, uh, a couple days ago, reached out to me, he's like, Hey, we're canceling this whole thing. I just map quested it because he's, he's an old man. He still uses map map quest. Um, it is 19 hours. He plugged it in <laughs> wrong and thought it was a 19 hour trip instead of 12 hour trip. And he's like, this is over. We're done. And I was like, no, my dreams. But we are going to get some fantastic toys. You guys are going to love it. Some super gems of Star Wars, G.I. Joe's, and uh, He-Man. So the, the three food groups. Oh, and the fourth food group, Sideshow Hot Toys. Um, so you're looking forward to this. I won't talk to you too much, Travis, because I want you to safely get us there. Uh, we just left or got through Detroit. We're going to stay at uh, my old man's house. And... I'll keep you posted. Maybe we'll take some video when we cross over the Blue Water Bridge. That'd yeah? be cool. All right, cool. All right, this is Justice Curry and Travis Bowl signing out. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, this is my videographer, by the way. <laughs> so if it's all shaky, you blame it. Okay. Oh, yeah, and we're recorded. All right, cool. Hey guys, Justice Curry. I have an amazing adventure you're about to go on with me. I've been hinting at it when we went over the Blue Water Bridge into Canada. Behind me is an epic collection once we start going into it a little bit. But first, I want to introduce the, I'm gonna call him the host. This is Jean-Claude Van Damme. How you doing, Jean? Thank you. I'm not Belgian. Not Belgian, that's right. Thank you so very much for inviting Travis and I into your wonderful collection room. Um, I mean, I have goosebumps right now. We've only been here for a few minutes. Uh, we drove 13 hours plus uh, to this wonderful location. And, and why I'm so excited is your tastes are exactly what my tastes are. Star Wars. Got it? Yeah. He-Man. Got it. Got it? Yeah. Uh, G.I. Joe. I do. So. Case closed. He's the awesomest person in the whole wide world. And Thank plus, you. Legos. Yeah. And not just any Legos, epic Legos. So let's just kind of pan through a little bit. Um, come over here, Mr. Videographer. <laughs> uh, we have some wonderful Mattel Maddie Classics. 
Um, how long have you been collecting, John? Only. And you can just pan while we're. Moving only on. five years, but oh. it's been intense. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yes, I've it been is. I've been grabbing both uh, vintage and modern stuff from the, all three lines. Yep. And uh, yeah, I have, as you can see, loose stuff, box stuff. And these guys will be taking away about 80, 85% of my whole collection. Oh yeah, that's what I love to hear. And John reached out to me, uh, you know, months ago and, and we talked about it and he's just, you know, just like all collectors go through different phases and seasons in life and, and toning down. And um, you know, it's it's been a pleasure talking with you over this time. And, and I've never talked with someone with English as their second language. So you really? Yes, this is the okay. first time, and you speak we it are, flawless. We are millions. Millions. <laughs> You're millions strong. Um, can you tell me uh, a little bit about the Lego sets that you have up there? Uh, yeah, these Lego sets. I like the big Lego sets because I like the time it takes to build them. I have an uh, Apollo 5 uh, rocket in the back up left. Nice. There's yes. this. The Death Star, the latest edition of the Death Star. Yeah. Uh, panel right, you have a an Ultimate uh, Collector Series uh, Slave One. You have Saruman's Tower right there, or Thank. I think I'll keep Darth Vader's castle. Yeah, no doubt. It, it's rad. Yes. The Sea Cow here, Metal Beard's beloved ship in the I am movie. so excited about this. Yeah. That's Stan. Yeah, and uh, a lot of, ja of Joes here. It, uh, the loose Joes are really clean because I've been crazy enough to buy them boxed yeah, and pan build on them. John, I, I gotta, I gotta hear this again. So right when I got here, I went, "Your boxed or not boxed GI Joe? Your loose GI Joe vehicles are the cleanest I've ever seen. I've never. It's like someone took armor all and put a shine to them." And he explained to me that it, it's it's as easy as buying them boxed and building them and applying <laughs> the stickers. And just putting them on a shelf so they look fresh as 1985 fresh. So you literally went and opened sealed boxes. Yeah, I burned hundreds of dollars <laughs> opening boxes. But you know what? I know I have some butthurt collectors watching this right now. Go, how dare he open this piece of... But it's yours. Because okay. it's fun. Exactly. I, it's fun. I wanted them to open them again. Yeah. Build them again. And relive that yes. scenario. Exactly. And ultimately at the end of the day, it's not all about the money sometimes. Nope. It's about the love of the toys. This is, and we all collect differently. You wanted the most pristine uh, examples. And unfortunately, it's almost impossible to find the most pristine, pristine examples unless you open a yeah. sealed vehicle. Yeah. And I'm also very impatient. So the, the hassle of, of buying separate parts and cleaning this part and you know, mm -hmm. I, no. Yeah, you're <laughs> like, I, I want to get it in there. I want it perfect. I don't want to be nickel and diamond clean in pieces. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to see some other stuff. And as we progress and start taking some things out, we'll shoot some more, uh, some footage for you guys at home. So thanks again, brother. And hey, uh, à tous les collectionneurs francophones qui voient tout le temps des vidéos en anglais, celui-là vient du Québec. Voilà. And if you know what he just said, put in the comments below and translate that for me. I love you all. Take care. Bye. All right, uh, it's been a few hours. We're going through it. We got a little system down and it's been a, a, a blast, but I'll kind of take you through. This is when we, this was clear when I showed you originally and we'll go in the back in a moment and show you how much, but uh, yeah, when we were initially showing, most of the stuff was in totes or back behind something. So you didn't get to see the full sheer volume of magicalness. One of the, the things that really most excited me is a boxed condor. I mean, with all my years of collecting, I don't even see them come up for sale. And, and, and most of all, it's it's sealed, sealed. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't open this one. That, yes, uh, it survived his wrath of opening them <laughs> um, and uh, putting applying the stickers. So we kinda went back and forth and Travis and I were like, kids on Halloween trading candy you pick you then I pick and I pick and you pick um, and we kind of I mean look at this okay this is another very impressive thing come on sealed 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 you just don't see that you don't see that with this high quality and caliber of collecting so it's it's bringing a smile to my heart and and plus on top of that his taste in hot toys Inside show, just like I said before, 
Um, we're cut from the same cloth. He likes the same stuff that Travis and I enjoy. Um, stuff that I enjoy being a part of the community and trading and, and selling with and, and collecting for my own personal collection. Um, so yeah, how's the how's the process going so far? Is it overwhelming? Is it bittersweet? I mean, it's well, a little it's, bit of both. As I told you a bit earlier, it's a weird mix of sadness and relief. And yeah, sadness and relief. Yeah. It's a weird a mix of, of feelings, but Absolutely. it's okay. Right. I wanted it. Yes, so I'm, I'm, of course. I'm living my dream of Absolutely. having my shoulders uh, yeah. lighter. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff. And, and what I tell people too sometimes is if they're having like really hard time selling, I'm like, hey, you don't have to. Or you can always rebuy it. Like if there's something where you have regret two years from now, like, man, I remember I sold that to Justice. Just rebuy it again, you know. There's yeah, a lot of stuff. It's if, not like and if I if I'm if I'm right with the with that money, you know, in ten years, it's, I can buy some more stuff. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So we're gonna go through and the shelves. We still have some more um, picking through to do. Uh, it's it's in the middle of the night, which is fine because we're all on like a toy high, um, and the sh chips. and yeah, eating chips. One of my favorite things. That uh, can you kind of tell the story of this, Jean? Well, from what I've heard, because I'm I'm no expert in in the subject, but someone found a full uh, uh, full cases uh, of uh, salacious crumbs <laughs> and hookah pipes. You're right. Parts that were supposed to go in that box there, but somehow I don't know they made extra. Yeah. So someone bought. A lot of them. Vintage. You're not. This vintage. is not no, this is modern. Vintage. 83. Right. And they created this kind of convenience store counter display box, and it just looks great. It's a mix of 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 modern and vintage and meta humor. And yes. It's yes. Exactly. Nice. Exactly. So that that was really fun for me to see, and and because I haven't seen it before. Maybe I'll sell it. <gasps> Yet. Yes! Oh my gosh. What am I gonna do with all this stuff is the problem. Because when I have to bring in new stuff, then I have to get rid of old stuff, and it's creeping out of my, my display room into the other parts of my living space. So I'm gonna have to talk to <laughs> talk to my wife. Unfortunately, and... you can't dehydrate plastic. Yes. You can't do that. No. It just takes you... the same amount of space. Or you exactly. have to. Exactly. We can't shrink it. Yeah. Or you have to burn it. Then you go, no. <laughs> Blasphemy. We can't oh, no. burn it. Yes. Um, and we still have some time uh, to go through. We got a price, not price, but uh, go through with the Lego sets and whatnot. Um, but many of these will be coming home with me as well. Uh, one person that has been. A silent majority over here. Travis, how's everything silent going? Bob. Silent Bob, that's right. I'm terrified of totaling up the price. Yes! <laughs> you and me both, man. You and me both. Um, yes, uh, this whole thing is 100. All right, I'm kidding. But uh, we'll come back. We'll talk at the end. Three, four, five, six, we got business seven, to do. Love you all. Bye. Eight. All right, following the life of the toy addict moving his plastic wares from point A to point B. Got, got my crusty, trusty Crocs. Yes, with this Crocs on. <laughs> so we're gonna fill this sucker up. Um, we just completed the deal. Jean was gracious to give us a wonderful deal. Um, I'll kind of show you. We brought the stuff for sale um, upstairs already. So here's some of Travis's stuff up here in the front. I know most of it's in totes, so it's not too exciting, but you'll notice some gems that aren't in totes. And then my stuff, uh, tons of Lego sets, vintage Mo2, which I'm super excited about. Um, yeah, that Condor, um, you don't see that at all. So that is super, super, super awesome. Sealed Rancor Monster, some classic things that I'm digging, and then just boxes and boxes of treasure, treasure. Um, so yeah, I'll show you a little bit how we cleaned uh, his toy room out, but there's still a lot of stuff he kept as well. You know, we these are a lot of Lego sets that are individually garbage bagged up. And then the man, the myth, the legend, Jean, how are you, good sir? I'm good. I feel like an old man in an old shop. Yes, 
Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll get your pound of flesh. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so yeah, from the last time you guys saw, these shelves were much more populated, but he still has plenty of treasures spread out uh, among these with some of his favorite G.I. Joes and Star Wars and then hot toys that he's keeping and, and whatnot and some other miscellaneous toys. Uh, so yep, I'm gonna go back and start helping Travis. Yeah, the, the, the most the most apparent apparent place that he, they emptied is over there. The yeah, bins. that yeah, was empty. that was stacked to the top with bins, um, which now are going to fill our trailer. So we'll uh, we'll come back with you one more time before we go. All right, see ya. Cool. Well, it's bittersweet, but we got done. We we packed this sucker full. I'll show you one last thing. Um, but yeah, it's it's certainly been an adventure. 13 hours here, 13 hours back, uh, wheeling and dealing, but it was all definitely worth it. Um, so the man of the hour, thank you so very much. How did it go? Very well. This guy is a real pro. By the way, I'm not, I, I'm getting paid to say that, but... <laughs> yeah, the check's in the mail. No, but honestly, he's one of the funniest, nicest, most honest, dealers I've met it's, yeah. it's true that's from the heart Thanks, you can man. trust this guy and uh, yeah awesome I'm happy I met you yes happy to met you as yeah. well mr. Claude Van Damme <laughs> I'm sure I'm, not Belgium. I'm sure I'm he's never connector. heard that before yes no, never um, so we'll, we'll take one last little peek in the back no we're not gonna take one last peek in the back maybe <laughs> when no silent Bob is safe. maybe when uh, we're unloading we'll take a peek in the back you so you don't want to show anybody that mess that you just made <laughs> it did kind of look pretty bad I have zero packing skills so all of us from way on the east side of Canada we wish you how Salut do you say à la prochaine. Bonne, colle bonne collection Salut. what he said bye bye hey guys Justice Curry back with you with Travis Bowles um, we're headed back to the U.S. of A. Hopefully we make it back in one piece. We've been going over some hypotheticals like, what if we, the vehicle just blew up, the engine blew up? What would we do? We're so far away from home. We got this you know, gigantic, let's see if you can see it in the rearview mirror, big trailer that we're pulling and all these toys. We're praying to God that we don't run into that scenario. Happy thoughts, positive thoughts. But we've been reminiscing about the trip and whatnot and we've been doing it a number of years. Um, you know, like we told you before, sometimes we have to buy collections to finance our own collecting, and, and it's just an evolutionary step progression where you get the bug of collecting, and you start, you know, maybe getting into G.I. Joe Star, whatever you're getting into, and you collect loose, and then your vehicles, and then you want the whole line, and then you want four, and it's just carded, boxed, and you go up, up the, the chain. And flipping toys is not for everybody, you know, everyone, it's, Sometimes it's hard to sell and deal with, uh, you know, people, and, and not you don't want to go to the post office all the time or, or set up at shows. It's just not for everybody. It's a huge time commitment. But um, Travis was telling me a story which I've heard like it's like the grandpa that has dementia that repeats the same story over and over again. Um, maybe actually just tell me about that story. A uh, mutual friend of ours, um, Rick. We, in, we call it the, uh, the the Kindle score, is what I always call it, but um, he posted on Facebook, he is getting out of toys, pretty much, having a big sale, and, um, you know, Rick's, you know, we both like him, but he's a abrupt dude, and he's yeah. like, you know, I'm having this going out of business sale, I, actually, I think he called it a getting the F out of business sale or something like that. And he posted on Facebook and, I, and I, he used to sell at shows. He actually put on his own show down in Kalamazoo, I think, or Battle Creek. Battle Creek, I think. And um, I'd seen his stuff. I knew he had good stuff, so I'm like, oh, I'll go to it. Well, I get three or four buddies. We jump in the car. We go down to it. And, he, you know, he was in the comments. He's like, you know, I'm going to open the storage unit up. I'll pull out an item. And you hold it up. I'll tell you a price. If you don't like it, I'll walk you the f out. Yeah. You know. So, yeah. Like, oh, and that's kind of how Rick's personality yeah, is. Yeah, it's him. You know, that's why I think that's why we like him, and you know, I mean, it's probably why he's single. I but don't, anyway, I don't like him. I'm kidding, Rick. <laughs> so um, we go, and, and I show up, and you know, Rick says, "Hey, it's a 
you know, 10 by 30 storage unit. And he goes, if anybody wants it right now, here's the price. And he set a price. And, and you know, I had been doing little small shows. Um, Kane County once, which obviously isn't Chicago. a small show. Yeah, it's huge, beautiful. And, and uh, he says this price, and I'm like, what the? Dude's crazy. Yeah, thousands of dollars. Yeah, thousands of dollars. You know, and um, I'm like, that's it's nuts. You know, and he goes, anybody want it? And it was funny. It was there were six of us there. Yeah, me, me, my my four buddies, and then Leandis. Yeah, Leandis. yeah, yeah, Leandis. You know, a, a friend of ours. Yeah. And um, so he opens a storage unit, and it's ten by thirty. And I'm, you know, I'm spatially special, so like. When someone says to me 10 by 30, that I means, don't know what that means. Yeah, that means nothing. It could be, me. say, 180 by 300. I go, I don't know what that means. Can you show me? Right. You know, I mean, so, yeah. yeah. So he opens it, and it's a storage unit full from the floor to the ceiling, no aisles of stuff. And he was a vendor, he was buying a ton of stuff, he had a good job, he had money, you know, and so he, we go in, we pick it. Um, everybody's pretty happy, you know, I bring my four friends and they buy stuff, I buy stuff, we all buy stuff. Well, I take that stuff to Kane County two weeks later and triple my money. Right, just like boom. Like, I mean, it's everything that I bought in that storage unit sells two weeks later. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, what did I do? Right. Right. I should have bought everything. And he had the opportunity to buy I, everything. I had the opportunity, you know, I don't know if I had the, you know, if I, so, in looking back, I always say, I missed, that's one of those where I, and don't get me wrong, I went back and bought the storage unit. After it was cherry picked. It had been cherry picked three times. And with that being said, it had been cherry picked three times. I still found $500 items in it. Oh my gosh. You know, you're paying, you know, $20 a piece on average or something. Exactly. Yeah. You know, just some ridiculous number because there was so much stuff in it. I mean, Rick was such a Mattel guy. Yeah. He had, I, I remember I walked out of that with nine Robotos. Mattel like Classic. Of the universe. Yeah. yeah. Nine uh, Mojo Classic Robotos. Oh my you know, goodness. And at the time, they were selling for like $90. Right. You know, right. there was there was five battle cats and eight uh, swift winds, and it was just this crazy haul. Yeah. And so now I've learned, you know, and it, and I've had a couple of my good friends that have been doing this for a while, and not quite in toys. Yeah. Um, Gary Jassic being one of them, he's an art guy, comics, and he told signatures. Me, and oh yeah. yeah. And, and he told me he goes. Situations are going to happen. These opportunities are going to arise. Yep. You're not going to be in the position to do it financially. You just have to find a way. Yep. Or you get. It's in, in the reason I tease Travis about hearing the story so many times is because it does bug him a little bit. Like, man, I had the opportunity to buy that whole thing before it got cherry picked, and you know, turn. I'm just without telling exact numbers. I'm just guessing five thousand into, you know. 50,000, like a crazy flip number. Um, and it's, a, like I said, a progression of collecting. And if you're thinking of getting into selling, it's a progression of selling too. Um, you know, it's if, if Travis and I did this when we were kind of novice collectors or, or buying and selling, this would have been overwhelming. It would have taken days and we would have not known or, or it would have just, couldn't have done it, couldn't have done it. But as you keep going up the chain, it's fine. If that's not your thing, you don't want to, but that's what we like to do. And that's why we're so compatible together. And <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's the, the progression of collecting. That is all. I just wanted to, we wanted to go off on all tangents. Love y'all.
thing, I just wanted to take this moment to give a shout out to my Patreons. If you don't know what Patreons are, there'll be a link in the description. Those are contributors to my channels, fans and friends and family that uh, help me out with the countless hours that I spend editing videos and going through and sharing this adventure with you. So please check out my Patreon and the link. And if you can spare a few bucks, I would greatly appreciate it. But I wanted to give a shout out to Chuck Templeton, Kevin Schruffer, I cannot pronounce your name, Russell Davis, Jamie God Gaddies. Oh man, that's butcher. These are probably going to be ex Patreons as I butcher their names. Corey Lang, David McMullen, Ari Partnin, Jowo. Oh man, I'm sorry, buddy, and you're my friend. Albino, Patreo, Evo, and my wife is going to kill me podcast. Love you all. Keep on collecting. Take care, bye.